If you're trying to run virtual machines on your PC, VMware Workstation or VMware Fusion based on if you're on Windows or Macs can come in really handy. My name is Adullah, you're watching Candidate Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can install VMware Workstation on your PC. So uh, first up, one thing you need to know is that uh, VMware player or the workstation player or fusion player, the free versions of these tools are no longer available, which means you're going to have to download fusion pro or workstation pro fusion pro. If you're on Mac workstation, if you're on windows, the good thing is that there is a by default free tier in both workstation and fusion. So we don't really have to worry about much. That said, the install process is now slightly different. So uh, you'll find the link to this page in the description below. Come up here and click on download fusion or workstation. Now this will take you to a new page where you're going to have to log in with your Broadcom ID. Uh, I do not know why you need to give an ID or log in to download a free program, but uh, apparently you do. So this time uh, we're just going to head over to the login section right here and then click on register instead because I don't have an account and you might not either. Uh, this is where you're going to have to enter your email address. So I'm just going to go ahead and type that. And then some text from this image. So MBBV, click on next. Now they'll send a verification code. So this is what we're going to have to enter. Let's wait for this to arrive. Yeah, it's right here. So this is going to be 708. 2533. Three. Go ahead and click on verify and continue. And now you can uh, enter all of your details and confirm the registration. So, add password matched, accept the terms of agreement, and then click on create account. Registered successfully. Uh, I'll build my profile later. And now we are good to go. So once you're on this page and you've created uh, an account, go ahead and click on download fusion or workstation this will open up a support.broadcom.com section um, and uh, once you're here head over to this section and make sure you select vmware cloud foundation right here which will show you all of the different downloads available to you we're going to search by name so we're going to go ahead and search for workstation and we have workstation player and workstation pro both workstation player is now end of life uh, or end of service whatever you want to call it so we're going to go ahead with workstation pro because i have a windows machine if you have a mac go ahead and use fusion and this should give us our download links all right so we have workstation pro 17 uh, for windows 16 and 15 we're going to go download the 17th one the latest version which in this case is 17.6.2 let it load and here we are so we'll find a download button all the way to the right which it says screening required apparently okay so agree to the terms and conditions first then we click on download button additional verification is required proceed okay oh my god you need my address also new delhi new delhi just give it uh, any information doesn't have to be right and then go ahead and click on submit and we should finally be able to download this okay http is download yes so we got it this will download the vmware workstation executable file it's like a 500 mb file right here and uh, from this point onwards you can just run the executable file and install vmware workstation pro as you would install any other program so i'm just waiting for this download to finish uh any minute now all right let's go so let's fire this up so this will open up the folder this is our downloaded file double click on it to run okay give windows the permissions it needs and there we go so now uh, the setup has uh, started we're just going to have to wait for it to appear and there you go now you can just follow along with these steps so click on next accept the license agreement click on next again um select the path where you want to install vmware workstation click on next again uh i don't need to join the customer experience improvement program so i'll uncheck that click next don't want any shortcuts either click next again and finally click install all right now it's installing virtual network drivers but basically once this installation is complete you will be good to go 
and then you can launch VMware Workstation Pro from your uh, start menu or desktop shortcuts or however you prefer. And uh, yeah, that's that. Let's wait for the installation to finish. And uh, we're good to go. So now if I search for VMware Workstation Pro is right here. I can click on this and the hypervisor should open up. There you go. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.